When I see patients privately, the care is exactly the same from my perspective. So I will still counsel them about the relative variety of treatments, including penile implants if it's appropriate. And then I'd encourage them to discuss that with their insurers directly so they can get an exact answer about that um, slightly tricky financial discussion. Um, due to the pressures on the NHS, this type of surgery can wait an awful long time and I'm always impressed by the length of time men will wait and be very patient until it's their turn for surgery. So actually very few people decide not to go ahead. And I think that's also a testament to the way that we counsel the patients so they fully understand the implication of what the problem is, why we've had to resort to something like a penile implant, and for them to fully understand what that means for them for the rest of their life. So waiting on the waiting list is actually time to reflect, contemplate, and decide if it's a positive or negative thing for them, discuss that with their partners, and nearly always they'll proceed directly to surgery as planned.